Hello, this is Farmer Brad, and I'm going to do a review on the Auto Vox backup camera. I'm going to show you how to install it on our Dodge Caravan, and part of the reason why I wanted a backup camera was because we ended up going with the SE model of Grand Caravan, and my thought is there's less that can go wrong with it. But I really would like the backup camera feature. So let's add a third party one after market. And this is the M1W. Um, they were nice enough to send it over to me. So let's get into the box. So here is the AutoVox M1W. Let's open it up. And this is the wireless. Um, so here is the manual. This is the little screen that will show you the view from backing up. It's a pretty decent size. Let's see. This is for fastening the monitor uh, to a window. This looks like the this looks like the camera itself. Um, it goes like this um, behind the license plate, and then you can adjust the uh, angle of it. And then let's see. This is the transmitter. Looks like they give you pretty decent amount of pretty decent amount of wire to help you place it. And this would be the cigarette lighter for the monitor. And these are some zip ties for helping uh, connect the wires and stuff. So, to get started, I'm going to screw on this transmitter antenna. These hook on the inside, and then you can, these two wires connect into the reverse lights so it only shows when you're in reverse and it's the way it gets the power so let's get to the install now each vehicle is different so um, this really only applies to the Dodge Caravan uh, so you'll have to figure out your own way of installing it. Um, but first what I'm gonna do is explore, there's a panel on the back side of this door and I'm going to open that up and see what options I have before I just go sticking the uh, backup camera in place. So up here is this panel that I'm gonna remove. So I'll get the screwdriver. Okay, so after doing a little bit of research online, I found out that I can pop one of these uh, rubber things off and feed the wire in through there. And then I'm going to have to take this out because we'll be tapping into the reverse light. So uh, let's go ahead and this ended up being uh, three eighths. Okay, so this is popped off, and this is where the uh, reverse lights are. So 
I'll just leave that there for right now. Now I'm going to feed this through and I still have this cap opened but I'm going to take these off so that then I can feed it down through the side. Okay, so maybe we'll feed that through there. Now I'm gonna take a Phillips screwdriver and unscrew these. Okay. Okay, it looks like, looks like I might be able to feed this up in here. Okay, so after doing some research, I found out that the green is positive and the black is negative. So it came with uh, a couple of these uh, red things that you can use to tap on to existing wires that are already in place. So. The uh, transmitter unit, go to the end, and then you find ground and 12 volt. Then I'll take the red wire and slide it in there like so. And then I'll take uh, I'm going to take some pliers and smash this down. Oh, oop. I thought that I'd be able to flip that over, but guess not. Okay. And I'll do the same thing with the other wire. Okay. Put that there like that. Feed this wire in so that it's near the, uh, at least past the metal part that I'm crimping down. Flip this over if it doesn't break. There we go. Feed it up this. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So I was trying to figure out about where these will meet. And uh, so Not sure. 
guess if it goes like that, it won't get, it won't get crushed. Well, it might though. Let's first, before we get everything uh, squared away, let's uh, just make sure we have it connected up correctly first. Here are the cigarette lighter. We'll go ahead and plug that in, adapter. This fastens on there. You can pull the protective label off. So, I have it plugged in, and now I'll turn the car on and put it in reverse. And sure enough, it is showing. Cool. So, I do have it connected correctly. And I put it in drive, and it goes off. So now let's go back to connecting it, hiding the cable. I'll just put this transmitter up here, because So right here is the transmitter. I'm gonna take this 3M adhesive thing off. And then I'm going to try to stick it into metal area. And then just push that there. Okay, that's staying there. Now I just snap this back. Good. Push these back in. Close this up and it's gonna be a little, a little snug, but I think it will have enough clearance. Here we go. Okay, so that's tidied up, and I'll put this back on here. Go. 
Okay, so I have to put this plug back in. Let's try to get it positioned about right there. I'm gonna get the screwdriver. To get this back in there. Okay, now I'll put this rubber thing back on there. And what you do is you pull off this adhesive thing here. And place it about in the middle. the license plate. So I set a trash can there and this is about how far I want it to be. Now they go into the van. Put it in reverse. And that is right about where I want it. Yeah, so I should be able to move forward now. And, and move in reverse. There's the trash can. I move back out there. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to install the M1W backup camera that transmits wirelessly by AutoVox. This has definitely been a learning process. When I, uh, I was originally gonna try to do a different approach, feeding this through, but I stopped, looked on YouTube, and found out that other people end up installing them and feeding it through there. Now, if you have a car or a truck where this is not on the liftable door, this install will be a heck of a lot easier. Um, but, you know, I had never installed one of these before and I was able to do it. So hopefully this video helps you to be empowered. Uh, and thanks for watching. And make sure to check out the M1W back wireless backup camera by AutoVox. Until next time.